Welcome back to the rig review and this time we're going to take a look at Sam. Sam you can find on the Gabriel Salas, Gabriel Salas, uh, <laughs> sorry I don't know how to pronounce this, is on here. You got David, Dane of course, you got Amy which I reviewed before, link in the description for the other one and this is Sam. $15 full disclaimer, I got a code to download this for free, full transparency, I did not pay for this. Now, just like with Amy, you got to go in there and select the geometry. You can go into attributes. There are many other ways to do your texture selection here. But once you have that, you're going to look for the texture that it's pointing to and find that again. It's in the texture folder and it's going to be skin texture 101. But what's going to happen here, just like with the other one, is you got to go and do UDIM and then generate preview and then turn on the textures and you will see that BAM, it is ready in all of its awesome glory. Now, there is also this, so you have your shoes, check it out in here, you got Sam Shoes Diffuse, go in there, go one up, and you have Sam Shoes Diffuse, and there we go, beautiful textures on the shoes. So then uh, let's go back, and this is, of course, very similar to the Amy rig, but still, I wanna go through here, if you haven't seen this before, you can see the geometry changes between partial and full. So this is for your speed and your uh, rendering speed influence, if you want here. That is, of course, the main root control. You can move the full character around. You go back to the shoes and you have your regular foot. And just like with Amy, you can move this around and it will move the knee. You can change this here if you want. But going back to the foot, you also have a swivel option here. But if you go back here, you also have follow no. So turn this off and then this will behave like that if you want. And going back to this just quickly, you also have the lock. And you can move this around if you need to lock your knee, which I love, and every rig should have that. Going back down here, you have your swivel that I just showed. You have your toe, which you can then also move using this controller if you want. Then you have your foot roll, which pivots off with the bend here going up to the toes. If you select this one, you have that here. Now, if you do the foot roll, you can also change the roll angle. You have your stretchiness, so if I take my foot and do this, it will be normal. And if you do the stretchiness, you can see you can stretch your foot all the way down to where that control is. Very cool. You got your anti-pop, so if you do any type of walk cycle and you got problems with that, you have your anti-pop. And you have your length and volume options as well. Just like with Amy, you have extra controls in the back to do this all separately in terms of the pivots that I showed, including the toe and going here in the middle with your foot roll like that. Can you translate? You can do that if you want. <laughs> you have this on both sides, of course. These are legs. You have one left and one right. You got your bend bows, of course, and also stiffness. Take this out, move this. You got stiffness options. This goes into the knees. Wee, wee, wee. Then you can go up into the thighs. We go up here and then you have your IKFK blend. So now it changes into your FK Ooh. feet and legs. You can do this. You can also scale. Don't forget, you can scale here as well. Going back up here, you also have IK and uh, FK visibility on off. Continuing up here, you have the root. And just like with Amy, you can take, let's go all the way back here and go back to IK. You can move your foot over, select the root and do a center between feet option and there's also a leg lock option and then you also have the hips just like with amy i want to do this again here i personally prefer to have a rig like this where the hip control is like that technical but it's there for you on the left side screen left here then you can select your root like that you can select these all the way up for that, there is no switch to a different IK rig, but you can translate if you want. There's no IK spline, spine, <laughs> so if you will. Then you have your shoulder control like that, which you can rotate and translate and scale. You have your FK arm, which again, you can move this whole thing around and you can scale if you want to. Back there, you have, of course, your IK arm switch, but if you take your arm and you move it up, you will not have an auto clavicle. And I don't see it here. You have a follow. The follow is if you take your root and I do this, you can see it's a real IK, sticky IK. 
but if you just say follow 10, you move your root and now the IK follows the root. That's always a good option to have. You have stretchiness, so if I take this and move this out, you can stretch. You have anti-pop length and volume, just like with the legs, which is awesome. But you don't have an auto clavicle follow, so don't forget to animate this, which is sometimes overlooked. You got bend bows or shoulder movement here, but bend bows in arms, elbows, and then this forearm as well. Going back here, you do have an elbow control here and that has a lock as well, which is awesome. You have this here, so you have just like in Amy, you got the spread of the fingers, you got the cupping, and you have all of this for quick options. And you can of course select these separately and rotate your fingers like that. And yes, you can scale. This is of course on both sides. These are identical, your arms. Going up here, let's go to the jaw. Jaw you can open here, and then you can see same thing where you have that separate control here to do any type of chin changes. You have a bigger mouth corner controls, which then reveals the control for the teeth. If you so desire to change that, you have your separate very detailed controllers here. This is your overall mouth controller, and this is for the upper lip, but you can rotate this for your curl in and out. And as you can see in here, you also have your tongue control that you can rotate, translate, and scale, select this back here, you can scale if you want to. But going back here for the face, you do have separate controllers for all of this, right? You got eyes, eyebrows, in, in other order that I just said, cheeks, and up here. Then you have your nostrils, and just like with Amy, this will give you a nostril flare, which you won't have if you just do this. This just moves the corner, there's nothing here in the channels that says flare, so you want to flare, do that in here. Then you got your jaw, and then you have your corners here, and your corners there. So I can close this and change as you can see, it's a shape and a jaw option. And as you select this here, you also have options to turn all of this on off, depending on what you want to animate with. And some of these have extra controls. So here you have squeeze on the brows, you have outer up and down. This one, you have all of the eye options with blinks. You have upper lid only, you have lower lid only, you have the lower lids follow, but also you have the pupil and the iris option, and also a general squint if you want. This one, which is for the jaw, you also have, let me just open up the mouth a little bit, you have the upper roll, and you got the lower roll, you got the sticky lips, so when you open the jaw here with this, you can see that the mouth stays closed, and you can see the zip of the lips here, left and right. But going back here, you do have this separately too. You got the cheeks here, including this one. If you want to smile, bring that up there. You have an overall nose control, which you can, of course, rotate and scale if you want. As I said, this is the nostril, but not the flare. You have your eyes, so you got the main controller for eye blinks. So that is here, top and bottom. You have separate smaller ones to reshape this, including the corners there. This here, it will be for your eyebrows, the outside, the middle, and the frowny center. This is your eye socket move, but you can also scale if you want. And again, this could be something that you could technically move here boop, and make it a bit bigger and then boop, bring it out here if you want. I don't know, let me in the comments. Is that something that you prefer that is right there so you know that this is moving the eye and not an outside thing. Maybe, could be. Going up here, you can see hair. You can not change the rest of this. You have a controller here that moves the whole head. So this is your head top swivel, but it's not the hair, even though the color is the same here. This is for the hair that you can scale. Ah, alive, my hair is alive. But you can do this. What if I scale this all the way down? How is this? Whoa, this is the head. Let me select just the hair. All right, this is what you get. Yeah, this is the change in the hair. Just in case you're interested in that. You have a squash and stretch with a middle and a bottom part. So that is that. You got the lower half ooh, ooh, change here and the upper ah half up there. Going over there, you got your eyes. So you have your eyes that are not moving. Why? Because the aim is at zero. Whoops. Now they're at 10 and you can move this around. And also a follow, which the follow means that if you select the head, move this around, the 
iBox moves with it. But if you take this and say follow zero, it goes back there, meaning that if you move the head, the eyes will always point towards that controller. And I believe that covers the Sam Rick, which again, you can find on Gumroad. You can also find on my animation buffet site alongside his other rigs and other rigs that I review and post. Speaking of that, if you don't want to miss any of my posts in terms of my rigs, feel free to subscribe to this channel, hit the notification all option so you don't miss anything. And that is that from this review. Thank you so much for watching.